Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. I'm just on my way back to office, I've just been to uh, see a pal of mine in Air Hills. After dropping some Porky mugs off. Shout out to Vivian and Andrea, how are we doing? Hope you like them porky mugs when you're drinking your uh, green tea in the morning. Wherever it is, you people drinking Leeds. Loads of speed cameras in Leeds, isn't there? We've got Dale Nichols coming on channel in an hour, two o'clock. Balls Deep, episode four. Seem to be popular, these Balls Deep. Right, this video, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna call it no, keep right. Dillian White wants to strangle Eddie Hearn. But why didn't you? Why didn't you strangle him? What's he say? There's been four times he felt like strangling Eddie Hearn. But look, there's talkers and there's smoky bacon walkers, isn't there? You're not gonna strangle somebody that's feeding you, are you? giving you pay-per-view fights we I'd say C B stroke C class fighters that's what I'd say if you're is A plus Joshua's B plus what's Chisora Parker Chisora Rivers what are they so whatever somebody's giving you pay-per-view, no, 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 you're not going to strangle that person, are you? Stop talking, stop talking rubbish! You're talking rubbish like your fake brother. Stop talking rubbish. Alright, let's get with the programme, Dillian White. Let's get with it. Alright? You've, uh, you've fought for a British title that were vacant against Ian Lewison. Ian Lewinson. That's it. All the rest of them are trinkets. They're probably vacant as well. Not bother for trinkets. British, Commonwealth, European and World title. They're the belts. If you get any of them, they're the four levels, aren't they? If you get any of them, you're on your way, aren't you? You find your level. But while you're fighting these fights that are pay-per-view, you're going to trip yourself up because you might get beaten them. I think it's bad bad advice you're taking on board. Somebody's filling your head full of crap. If you get beaten your next fight against Pavetki, I mean, he's an old man anyway, he's 41. Brown were 40. I mean, how many more of these are you going to dig up? Whack were 40. I mean, come on. Three out at last five, 40 odd year old. I don't mean to hammer Dillian White, but you're talking rubbish, Dillian. Talk truth. I mean, this is how I look at it, right? I keep going on about it, because I can't get it out of my thick skull. What sort of man sits there when his promoter says, right, you've got a shot at the heavyweight championship of the world. Four belts at Wembley Stadium. Wembley Stadium, four belts. Right. In a rematch with somebody that you've got intense beef with. They didn't even want to do the old intense beef, did they? Four belts, intense beef, and that was the time to beat Joshua. He pulled out, Andy Ruiz stepped in and whipped this chump. Alright? He pulled out of a fight at Wembley Stadium, 90,000 sellout. Pay per view, rematch from somebody that iced you. He iced you. Whether you were in good condition or not, you took the fight. He iced you, this guy. You didn't want to rematch him for five plus million for four belts. Am I? Am I fucking missing something here? Am I fucking missing something here? I know him. I must be missing something here. So let me just say that again to all you gimps from Gimpville Island. Well, I'm doing 50 on M1 because I'm not raging. Four belts. The heavyweight championship of the world, babe! Four belts! Four belts, one night, pay-per-view, 
Wembley Stadium, two London lads going at it in a rematch from a guy who knocked you out and you pulled out! But yet you want to strangle Eddie Hearn? He should dump you! Now, you, you put, you're coming out with stuff to generate PR lines and views. It's bollocks. It's bollocks, Dillian. Pick up the phone, give me a ring, you're coming my channel anytime, Dillian. Stop talking shit! Stop talking shit, Dillian White, you were gonna strangle Eddie Hearn. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, good gunner. You're gonna do wonders, all you did was shit kill cumbers. Fucking hell. I was gonna strangle Eddie Hearn on four occasions. Fucking get on with it. Jesus. You're not gonna strangle the hand that feeds you. Fucking hell. Unbelievable, man. Gratitude. Never even fought for a European title. Ship speed in here. It's 60 and a Never even fought for a European title. I don't see you calling out Caballel, Daniel Debar, Joe Joyce. You don't want to fight them, do you? Caballel had European title. He dealt with Chisora. You didn't want to go near Caballel, did you? Ooh, didn't fancy that work. But we'll have Vac or Brown or Pivetkin. Come on. If I missed all turn off, oh no, I'm going to Sheffield now. I'm going to be off at Ellaby, don't I? Yeah, Ellaby, I'll park there. I always get confused around here, because I'm thick. Thick as two short plants. But, nah, I, I, it's still done my head in that, Dillian White, coming out with shit! Utter shit! Poo! Fucking poo! Pony! Coming out with pony! But I don't like Eddie Hearn like an X-Man, but he's a grafter and he does his job, doesn't he? But let's have it right. He's done well for Dillian White, hasn't he? Come on, made him a millionaire. Made him a millionaire. Well, who's, the, who's Dillian White's best win? Joseph Parker. Life and death. Second best win. Lucas Brown, the joint worst heavyweight champion, former champion ever. He's up there with Charlie Martin. In fact, Charlie Martin probably ices him. Third best win, Chisora with nine losses. Come on! You're talking to me, you're talking to Big P. All my legs wet, do you know why? You just pissed all the way down my leg, Dillian White. Pissed all the way down it. Fucking hell, man. I can't believe gratitude of some of them. I were gonna strangle Eddie Hearn. Ah! Listen, Dillian White used to follow me on Twitter and I told him in a direct message after the Joshua fights, so listen, you're going to fight Chisora, he fought Chisora and I said, you're going to fight him again after that, he went, nah, 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 I'm not, I went, you're fighting Chisora, they froze him out, when they first dangled the Chisora against Dillian fight, they first dangled it, didn't they, as pay-per-view and everybody went, no, then they saw the first fight, and then Eddie Hearn thought, pay-per-view, this is pay-per-view, rematch. Dillian White were knocking it back, like he said he was, like he said he was gonna do. Fair play, Dillian. Well, they got the pay-per-view, and then everybody just put their heads in the sand and said, let's forget what we've said, and let's have that pay-per-view. Get him on my arse here, man. Boy racer in his Corsa. Buy me a bit of space, he'll come charging back at me in a minute. But, but now I'm uh, I'm not impressed with Dillian White and the shite that he's talking. Oh, to shite! And do you know the best thing about it is? All these gimps from Gimpville Island, these you other YouTubers, they don't say a fucking word, dare they? Pick up the phone, come on my channel, Dillian. Pick up the phone, or come to our show September 11th and I'll stick a camera in your face and say, come on, Dillian, where you, where's your career going? Derek Chisora got it right when he said, Dillian's a spare wheel for Eddie Hearn. He's the guy he goes to when he gets a puncher. Nobody dare say out there, they? None of them, Ron Lewis, 
Chicken. Bunce is pal of mine, but none of them are pulling him up on it. But then again, Bunce is BT Sport, isn't it? None of them are going to say a word because they all think they're going to get it put on them. These people are not going to do crap like that. They're just talking rubbish. I were going to strangle Eddie Hearn. He made me a millionaire fighting C class fighters on pay per view. He's got his fifth pay per view coming. Carl Froch only had three and he brought it back. And he fought Death Row Killers. So don't be chatting shit. Chatting shit. Shit chatters. Shit, shit, shit. And more fucking shit. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fucking hell, man. Look, I'm not keen on Eddie Hearn, but let's have it right. He's performed miracles for Dillian White. Fucking miracles. He turned up fast as a pink Michelin man to fight Joshua. Seen he had a bad shoulder, but he got in fucking ring, got knocked out. Since then they've built him up on IFL and Sky and they've given him four pay-per-views. No fucking going around saying you're gonna strangle the Eddie Hearn. He should be going and cutting his fucking grass. Fuck's sake, anyway, fuck it. See you later.